So what are the benefits of being part of a local church? In the Bible, the church is described as a united community that is interdependent. The church is not composed of isolated individuals or lone wolves who follow Jesus on their own. And so being part of a local church comes with several benefits for our personal and spiritual lives. And so I want to spend just a few minutes going over what those benefits are. The first one is spiritual growth. It is impossible for believers to grow into full spiritual maturity on their own. So God provides spiritual leaders and other believers to help you grow spiritually. Psalm 92 verse 12 to 13 says, The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. Uh, they will flourish in the courts of our God. And so the church, the local community, is a place of spiritual growth. And there's many ways that this happens. You grow from the wisdom that others share with you. You grow from the ministry and care and service that you get from your brothers and sisters. You grow from serving others and serving people in their weaknesses. You grow from resolving conflict from forgiving people. And all of these things cannot happen outside of community. And so that is how the church, the local community, helps us to grow spiritually. The other way that we grow, or the other benefit, is spiritual gifts. Being part of a local church allows you to discover and exercise your spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 4 to 7 say this, There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone it is the same God at work. Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. So if you are a believer, God has given you spiritual gifts unique abilities and talents that you can use to serve people, to bless them, to reach the lost. But how will you discover those gifts which are meant to serve others if you're not in relationship with others? How can you discover what you're good at and how God has made you to serve if you're not given the opportunities to serve in a community setting? And so spiritual gifts is another benefit from being part of a community. You get to discover them, you get to use them, exercise them. And again, you're not gonna discover your spiritual gifts or even have a means to use them outside of community. A third and very important benefit is spiritual protection. If believers are not committed to a local church, they are more vulnerable to false teachers and their false teachings. Ephesians 4.14 says this, We will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. And he says this in the context of God giving leaders to the local church and using these leaders to equip people for ministry. And so it's in this communal setting where you have spiritual leaders and you have a community where we are equipped to stand firm in the face of false teachings. And we're equipped to discern false teachings. And there's and when we're in a community, there's an agreed standard of doctrine. There are core beliefs that we all hold to. And so as long as you're part of, part of a community, a Bible-believing, Orthodox community, evangelical community that's committed to the historical doctrines of the faith, 
you will be protected from all the crazy teachings out there that lead people to believe in things like the prosperity gospel, uh, forms of um, occult and new age practices that some believers have ad adopted for themselves, and a lot of other weird teachings that are out there. So spiritual protection is another huge benefit. And lastly, being part of a church blesses us with a spiritual family. Your local church is a source of support, encouragement, and comfort. And you do not have to be alone in your spiritual journey. Galatians 6, 1-2 says, Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you also may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. So in the local body, you're with other brothers and sisters who can help you carry your burdens, including your, your moral failings, your sins, your doubts. And so, again, you can't get that on your own. And Hebrews 10, 24-25, such a good verse, says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on, toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. So being part of a spiritual family is, it's a place where others encourage you along in your journey and where others encourage you to do good works and where you can experience deep relational intimacy with other brothers and sisters who are on the same journey that you are in. And so I want to encourage you to stay connected to your local church, be committed, and experience the rich benefits of being part of the family of God.